Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Sack here today. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips while I'm talking over these clips here. I'm going to tell you guys some tips on how to keep some of your resources when you log off. Because I know whenever I log off, I always get three-starred and lose like half a million resources or something like that. Probably sometimes more. Maybe a million resources I lose. So I just have a couple little tips here. Some, t some of these tips are pretty obvious. Many of you are probably going to know most of these tips, but for some of the newer players and possibly some of the higher players that don't know all these, I'm going to tell you guys a, little, a c couple of things here that might help you save some of your resources when you log off. So, first of all, most of you probably know you guys can buy shields in the little area that says shields. You can buy shields. You can buy a one-hour shield, a one-day, I think a two- or three-day, and then a seven-day or something. So... I always buy the one hour shield almost every day. It's the greatest thing. It only costs a thousand essence and it covers you for an hour. If you got to go do something for an hour, you got to run an errand and you don't want to leave your three or four million resources that you have in your storages. When you log off, buy the one hour shield. It's a great little tool to keep your resources. And I buy it almost every day. As I said, it's very helpful. So keep in mind there's a one hour shield costs a thousand essence. Great. I get it every day, and also, one-day shields are great, I usually get those a couple times, maybe once a week or once every other week if I just have a ton of resources, if I've been raiding a ton one weekend. Shields are great tools to keep your resources, I definitely recommend them. Alright, so, let's talk about something else, so, spending as much as possible before you log off. So, if you have, like, a ton of resources, and, I don't know, you have one worker available but you have most of your new upgrades upgrading what I suggest doing is putting them putting all the money into walls walls are one of the most important defenses in the game in my opinion if not the greatest defense because the higher level walls you have the harder it is for the rams to get in because some of the rams you gotta have pretty high level rams to break through some of the higher level walls here so in my opinion walls are one of the greatest if not the greatest defense on keeping your resources safe if you have a lot of compartments that you gotta bring like four or five rams maybe six rams to get into your base so again walls are very important spend as much as you can before you log off so you don't get three start and lose like two million resources it's always a great tool to dump it into walls walls are always great to be upgrading keep upgrading them as much as possible that's what i'm trying to do right now alright so another one here is design your base to be protected from spells. Now, I haven't really talked about this much, but snowball spells are very, very good in this game. So if you have a line of defenses running across your base with like four defenses that you drop three or four snowball spells, and all your defenses get taken out, you want to protect your base from the snowball spell and the freeze spell. So you want to make sure your defenses are not necessarily close to each other so that the snowball spell can't take out three to four defenses at a time. And also the freeze spell can't freeze two to three defenses at a time. So you really want to check out your base, protect it from spells, dump all your money into the, your um, your walls when you log off, keep buying shields, and one more thing is centralize your storages. I see a ton of people that their storages are like outside the walls and some are very close to the outside. The more your storages are centralized, the better. It's going to keep people from three-starring and getting as far into your base as possible. So keep them next to your town hall or your castle. And also, if you want to keep most of your resources, keep your castle on the outside. Because all they got to do is take the castle and you do get a shield. So just some tips to think about. Hopefully those will help you guys in the future on not getting all your resources stolen when you log off. Hopefully it was a little insightful. I know some of these things definitely help me in getting three-starred and not taking all my resources. So just a little tip here. I'm going to have another video coming out tomorrow, which is Sunday, and we got great things coming in the future here. We have a big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. Check that video out. It should be coming at the end of this video here. Video here. Check out the little annotation on the video, and thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys later.